Hello, welcome to Soto Creations where we make your imagination a reality. It's crazy how dark it is now. It is 6.50. I just got off work and I am at Home Depot trying to buy wood because the goal of this vlog, you probably already saw, that's why you're here, is to make a marquee number four. So the backstory, as you know, well, you don't know. The backstory is that I've been planning to make this for the longest time and my loving husband was able to find a few letters for me and I had a design in mind, but I want to use the template that he found to make the number four. I don't have a four. I have an O that could go with love, but I'm going to use that O so I don't have to make zero. And based on those estimates, make the number four. Now... I'll show you more details when I get home. I'm here to buy wood, then get home, see how things are, maybe take a nap before I start working on it. But I will show you how I do all this. I'm hoping that they'll be able to cut the base piece smaller and some strips for me to go around the marquee. And all I'll have to do is draw out the four, cut that up, and cut every, each piece of that strip to fit around the four, and then figure out how to cut all the holes. I guess cut the holes first, then put the strips around. So if this is your first time tuning in, thank you for watching. Please consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. I really appreciate it. It's thanks to you guys, thanks to your follows and likes and this support that I'm able to buy these supplies to be able to make some of these videos. Otherwise, for the most part, it's out of pocket. So here we go, designing this marquee number four. So I'm looking for three quarters of an inch, which is right here. But as you can see, there's the sand plywood, which is that. There is birch plywood, which is also three quarters of an inch. More expensive. And we have a three quarter, sorry, back noise. Red oak plywood. I have no idea. This is red. I don't want red. Then we have this middle one. And I think I'm gonna go with, well, I guess this one, sand plywood. I don't know what difference it's gonna be, but looks good enough. And we have, what is this? This is also three quarters. What is it? doesn't say this is definitely not it I think it's this one might work but it has more blemishes I mean we're gonna prime and paint let me find out I just noticed this is like chipping which is not very good because I think when I start cutting, I'll have a lot of blemishes. So I'm going to go see. You can see how not dense. And this one is more solid. I have my sketch here on how I want them to cut the pieces. But after talking to them, they can't cut smaller pieces of wood. But he's able to give me my height. And then I'll figure out the rest later. So he's helping me cut all that wood. And I'm so thankful that at least that part is done. And I can my the and I get home. But again, I'll show you more details in my sketch. Then I start drawing that floor at the very back of the wood when we get home. We're going to grab some caulk. 
for this design once we're done with everything just to get the corners smooth and painted so i'm getting a couple hopefully it's enough if not we'll have to get more but those are all the pieces of wood cut i'm making room on the back of in the trunk of my car so i can load all the wood that has been cut and then i'll see you at home either before or after my little nap so keep on watching this is the drawing you saw earlier this is the o or letter zero or number zero that i had so i measured that and it's 94 inches tall and 23.75 wide i'm not so worried about the width because i just want to get my four even so initially i drew out this sketch but then i needed to figure out what exactly my measurements were for ex like this part this middle part here especially making it even because i also have to figure out how this is gonna stand on its own i think i have to put a base right there so i decided to go with a grid so here's my grid let me pause it and see if i can use a colored ink so you can understand hopefully this is a lot better so on word the word document i went to the table setting and made a grid or a table that is 30 by 48 so i have 30 squares across and 48 squares down remember i said the height that i need is so 30 by 48 the height that i need is 49 so i kept it in such a way that when i add my bottom piece it'll be 50 but then when i add the border up here it'll be about 51 so this will be a little bit actually it'll be the same size as the o at the end because the o they're gonna put this is the 49 is before the borders are added on hopefully this makes sense now i had to figure out how i wanted it to fit for the 49 so i have eight inch here eight inches here for the base then 12 inches to sit the four across here is six which is the same as here then we have the eight same eight over here and eight inches there so that it's nice and even with the whole bottom piece the tricky part now was the middle because of the angle I had to make sure this aligned straight which it doesn't quite but it looks like it does i kept it like that because i don't want this it would have been somewhere down here so this going into the end but i don't want it to be too small in the middle now as far as where i'm placing my lights i decided to go with seven inches across from the middle so this is my midpoint i went seven inches here seven 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 all the way to the top and i took seven across so i went with seven this way and this way but on the bottom here i saw if i had to go seven i would be too close to the very bottom and that would not look good because this is only three inches three squares so one square is an inch three inches so that won't be much so i put it at six which is fine the tricky part with the four is you're not going to get your lights really aligned at this point. So what I did was I found the midpoint here and I had my midpoint here. So what I want to do is figure out the line that is going to go right in the middle of these two. And that's this pencil line right there. And what I did was with this part aligned with here and that one aligned there i have a total of 14 was it 14 inches no i have a total of 14 centimeters so you can see from this dot 
So this dot was 14. So I did half, it's a little low, but I did half of the 14, which put me at seven, which is that dot. And half of the seven is the 3.5. And then between seven and 14, half of that is 10.5. So that's where that dot is. And that's where my other bulbs are gonna go. So as you can see, these look close together and those look close together, but it's okay. I think that's how it's gonna work. And at the end, the same wood that I'm using around and all for the design, this same wood that we have here, it's about, I showed you already, it's a three quarter of an inch thick. So that is gonna go on the bottom here. So add a little bit less than an inch here, which will put us at 50 or 49 and three quarters. And the top will also have three quarter of an inch. So that adds that height. So this might be slightly shorter or the same actually. And then we'll go all around. But the biggest part is making sure I transfer this onto this wood right here. So the guy at Home Depot was able to cut the height for me already. So this is 49. I already know he did that for me. So let me see. My ruler is not long enough, but it doesn't matter. I'll be able to measure. So I'm pretty much trying to transfer this onto this. Let's get to work. I only have probably 40 minutes because I have to meet a customer here at two. So let's see what we can get done real quick. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the four so far. I have Matt helping me today put this cut these pieces because I am blessed like that. I don't know why this is doing this. Okay, we're outside. You can remember I made this mistake. I had to remind him not to cut on that so he cut everything out already while I was finishing up the Barbie box you probably saw that video I don't know when I'm gonna post it so this is everything we still have to sand it of course I have marks where I'm putting the light bulbs and he's gonna work on cutting the wood and it's gonna go flush against this now he asked, how is the four gonna stand? So what we're gonna do is the same wood we're using, we'll put as a base right here and it'll 
hold the four in place. So it, I accounted for the height so it matches the, num the number zero. Same thing, he's going to cut all the wood. This wood height is going to be five and a half inches. And it's going to go all around. So I wanted to show you that before he starts working on the rest. The trickiest thing which I need to come learn from him is how to cut angles. I don't know how to cut angles with a saw or with this. So we'll learn that. I know this is a 45 degree angle, 90 degrees. This wood is just going to go across. So that's going to be tricky. But the rest should be decent we're gonna use nails to screw that in i'll list everything in the comments below i'm gonna go pick up my kids and come back so we'll see how far he has gotten and then we have to figure out the electrical part but we have to caulk we have to paint prime at least today and we can paint it tomorrow i need this today is let's see today is Wednesday I need it by Saturday so stay tuned keep watching <laughs> so we don't know the angle yeah but in order to do the angle mm -hmm. I have to hold the piece of wood up it was a struggle trying to get that angle just right because of the way the so had to cut wasn't safe but we went back and forth also arguing about what angle the wood needed to be cut versus what the angle actually was so this took a while but i had to step back and let him do what he was doing and he ended up figuring it out as you'll see here shortly Okay, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to use to have electricity. Of course, I'm not an electrician, but this is the first piece that's going to go through all the holes we drilled. Let me bring it closer if it's going to focus. And that's what it looks like. So those spikes are what are going to cut through our wire when we thread it in. So that's that piece through each hole and then we have the outlet part that's going to connect to the wall one piece is going to go on one wire and the other piece on the other wire i think they called it a male and female plug but we'll figure that out and i'll explain that as we go i'll show you the wire as well this is the wire right here and i'll have it all linked in the description box but let's take it apart 
so I can show you how we're gonna connect it. This is, these are the bulbs. So could do a couple of backdrops. I'm gonna show you guys how I connect this part first. Hopefully I can get it all done right. But let's go. So because of the size of our hole, this does not fit from the back. We have to put that from the front and insert all that in. So Matt is busy caulking all the corners so that it, we're ready to paint here shortly. And I, in a silly way, I'm putting all this in and we'll realize we have not painted. So we're going to eventually have to take that off. But you'll see eventually our other marquee project that I forgot to order this specific part that the bulb inserts into and so we ended up having to create a bigger hole to put the string bulbs the outdoor string bulbs so you'll see Richard and I do that here coming up but I finished doing all this and then we realized that we now have to paint. We're waiting for the cork to dry, but that's what it looks like from the back. Of course, it's tight on, so we have to use a hammer to get all of that off. Cleaning off all the excess wood, and then we're on to priming. We'll prime, and then we'll paint, and then I'll show you the project that we were actually making this for initially, but at least we have the four in stock where it worked out where I was able to add on for the 2024 design that I wanted to do. So stay tuned to see that here shortly. It is New Year's Eve and Richard and I are busy working on a new project because we have a new customer who wants a baby marquee word with some balloons around it. You've probably already seen this video. It was my first video of 2024. So I had Matt build the B, two Bs and a Y. I'm showing you it's 1120. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing that we're here at this time of the night. I kept repeating like see how we're spending our 31st. <laughs> but we had this project to complete. So Matt already built the two Bs and the Y because we had the A already as you see on the right. But the problem we had here is that I did not order those sockets for the bulb. I thought I ordered, placed orders on Amazon. I just went to my previous order and reordered, but I ended up ordering a bunch of the male and female connectors instead of the actual bulbs, not bulb sockets. So we ended up deciding because of the new year and all the shopping, I wasn't going to get it in time. It was going to come on the 6th. So I ended up just increasing the size of the hole drilling a bigger hole and luckily we had some string bulbs in stock so we were able to put those on the back now that i'm editing i realize i need to insert that part for you guys to actually see a close-up and i'll do that but like i'm saying we had to pretty much go through what matt already did with the size of holes that we're gonna fit the sockets and create bigger holes because the string bulbs 
we have to make the holes bigger remember i showed you how i couldn't put the bulbs from the back well this time we have to make the hole where we can put that from the back in order to just insert the bulbs that way so the b is complete and we are making sure all the bulbs are on and twisted on right and we're going to continue working here with our other letters this point we've gotten into a better rhythm from what we did with the B so as Richard is drilling the bigger holes I am and inserting the socket I am putting the twisting the bulbs on and that's what we're working on I was determined to do 2024 because I thought I would have time to do a huge backdrop balloon backdrop with the marquee 2024 but I never had a chance to do that just busy working and busy with family so I couldn't really get that done but at least hopefully you appreciate this video that shows you the 2024 this was supposed to be my 2024 video to go into the new year with my big balloons with the 2024 but we worked on this as well tonight we were already thinking well we're not going to make it home on time before the new year so we might as well just finish this as we're at it because we had to also touch up on some paint work. That's why you see the Y laying down there because we're touching up some points that still needed to be painted well. So we're busy doing our thing. It's cold actually here. So we're still kind of bundled up. I think we had a heater on the side as well just to keep ourselves warm, but not too, too bad. So we're working our way through the two and it's not quite midnight yet we're still kind of counting down we do our own countdown on our own but once we're done with the two i think at some point we end up where we're hearing fireworks as you always do with the new year so you'll see us walk away for a little bit because of the fireworks and then we'll come back to working at it to show you I was editing the video for these marquee letters and I realized I didn't show you the back so we're gonna go with number four first because that's the one we did 
connecting the wire so you can see where it connects let me bring it closer to the light here okay so you can see where the bulbs connect to this white piece we were pushing it from the front of the letter in this way right so you see where you have that lip around here and that's how we connect on the back because we had a whole roll of wires you just take the wire put it in the back of where it connects there's a sharp thing that pokes through the wires and then you push this round piece in and it just pins it on the back so you keep doing that all around it just pins it and you continue your wire all through the full letter that's how you do it and at the end let me move it back at the end you just connect your slide your wire into this piece and slide this top on so you connect one end to your let me unplug this so one end to this one and one end to this so you can connect it now to your other number or letter to keep if you have more than one to light up otherwise you just connect it to an outlet so that is what we did I'm gonna show you the other option if you have string lights okay so with the string lights yeah we did the Y with the string lights we ended up making the holes bigger and sliding this from the back because these are all already connected you can see we didn't put this it's all one like the whole wiring system here is one piece so what you do is since you cannot try to pass the wire with all this from the front through that hole you have to make a hole bigger than what we had that I from the four so that that round lip will fit through which is what we were doing last time because I forgot to order those bases for the bulb and they couldn't get there here on time so what you do is you make a bigger hole so that that lip will fit through you get it through there and you just keep doing that and then put the bulb on after so pretty much the bulb is what is holding it in place on the other one this base is holding it in place not the bulb so then you put all your bulbs afterwards so you just wire that through all this is one piece you put all of them in and your bulb is what holds it in place so the front looks slightly different so the bulb is let me turn this light the bulb is what is flush you don't see the the connector for the bulb you can kind of see it black there but what you see mainly is the bulb on the on the inside or on the front part versus seeing the lip which I was fine with the lip because it's white anyways and I felt like the back wasn't as messy but whichever way is easier honestly the, this method might be easier because your lights are already stringed you just have to take off your bulbs before you put them through and then sorry I'm trying to move this back you have to take off your bulb before you put it through then once you put it through you put your bulbs back on so your holes have to be bigger for this not for that one so that is it I'm gonna insert that in this clip in so that you can really understand what we're trying to do that night so this is an old one this letter I bought from someone they use string lights as well and they even use staples to hold the excess on so all right I hope that clarified things a little better but as you can see we're wrapping up 2024 so excited about that and that we have it too bad I wasn't able to do the video for that but we're moving on along I was gonna mention also that it's probably cheaper to wire everything yourself obviously you buy more wire because it comes in that big roll but 
than the string light. So we put the Y, you can see there's a spot missing on the bottom there where he put his foot. So we're kind of picky. So we decide to drill another hole down there so that we can put the bulb. But we're checking all the bulbs that are not lit up, trying to make sure they're well connected. We had the strategy where he was drilling the bigger hole, taking the bulb off and giving it to me while he's inserting that piece in the back. Then I'm putting the bulbs back in the front, then we vacuum, obviously. So he's just gonna drill that hole and then we'll wrap up. Please don't forget to subscribe and support my channel. I really appreciate it. And comment down below if there's certain videos you would like to see. I'll work on getting that for you guys. But this is the baby and I'll show you the setup I did for this. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description box below. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.